Hello there, this is Kenny from LearnHowToGrowSprouts.com and today I want to talk just a few minutes about how to grow the most affordable superfood on the planet. And it's true. It, uh, there's, there's not a, an easier way to get the supplements that you need in the way of live food into your body than growing your own sprouts. Now, <clears throat> there's lots of w different ways to do this and you're going to see if you've done any research at all into this uh, practice uh, of growing your own sprouts you can use a jar and as you can see it can be as simple as using a, a mason jar some cheesecloth or some sort of meshed cloth and, and and a rubber band and you just set these in a um, you can set them so that they're at an angle because you do want to have any moisture or water that's up inside be able to drain out okay there's the tray and I used the tray I, I actually use the tray the jar and and the bag but I'm gonna and on my website at learnhowtogrowsprouts.com, um, you can learn more about this, and I, I talk about each one and the pros and the cons. But it might be easiest for you to just start using um, a simple uh, mason jar with some cheesecloth or a nylon. Or you can invest in a tray, uh, and the one thing I do like about the tray is that you can uh, it doesn't take up as much um, space. You can stack these on top of each other and you can uh, grow s s several different varieties. And then there's the bag. I really like the bag. The bag is great for growing beans and one of the things I do prefer about the bag is that um, you can just dip um, for rinsing the, the sprouts daily. You can just uh, fill your sink or, or, or fill a, a pot and then just uh, quickly rinse them in the bag and then just hang the, drag to, the bag to dry. Now, there's also this idea of a sprout garden, and it's like a tray, uh, and it really pumps out the sprouts. Um, these sit and they stack on each other, and you can grow an enormous volume of sprouts. Let's jump into uh, how you do this. So, there are different varieties of sprouts. Uh, the most common are alfalfa, broccoli, radish, uh, beans, mung beans, wheat. And uh, again, I've got a full list of all the different types um, of sprouts that you might consider growing at learnhowtogrowsprouts.com. Uh, but the first thing you want to do is soak your sprouts. So here we are. Uh, you just want to put the sprouts in the bottom and fill the, the, the jar with water and just allow that to sit uh, for 24 hours. Now what you want to do is... Um, after the 24 hours, just rinse the sprouts and place them in the sprouter. And as I talked earlier, it could be any of a number of different sprouters. It could be the bag. It could be a jar with this special um, sprouter um, cap that you can purchase uh, or the bag. And then all you need to do is uh, repeat the, the rinse two or three times daily. And you want to make sure that you allow the water to uh, drain off either out of the bag or you want to turn uh, the jar at, at an angle maybe in your uh, dish rack or you can even buy a jar rack and allow the, the moisture to, to, uh, to pour out of the bottom because you don't want to uh, have it sit there in standing water because then uh, it can grow uh, mold and, and other issues. Okay. And then it's time for your sprout feast. So after uh, three to five days, sometimes as many as seven, uh, and this is what they look like, alfalfa, beans, uh, or a mixture of wheat and beans and alfalfa sprouts. And it really makes a nice salad. You can actually uh, you can uh, easily create a salad or mix uh, sprouts, put them any place where you typically use lettuce uh, or there are other dishes. And on learnhowtogrowsprouts.com, I have a video course where I go through how to create sprout bread. I show you all the particulars, the ins and outs, and the tips and tricks that you'll need to know. So pop on over to learn how to grow sprouts and I'll be there waiting for you. Talk to you soon.